Guys, what is going on? Anthony here with Funless Toys, bringing you day six of seven for my craptastic toy reviews. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be the last day. I got a nice special episode for you guys, I think, coming up. And uh, what I picked up today was the monkey game. If you guys all remember Barrel, Barrel of Monkeys, I think it was, back when we were kids. I picked this up for nostalgia. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's ages four plus seven pieces. Not really that many to play with. But I mean, what are you gonna, what do you expect for a dollar? You know what I mean? Like four bucks, you'd get, what, 24 monkeys? But I mean, for, if you get around that price, you might as well just buy the regular thing. Over here it says, warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children or three. Why they don't do three plus? Heck, it beats me. But I like the colors. It's got yellow, purple, and pink. I have no idea why it even came with colors. If I flip it on over to the back, so you can see it's got a barrel. It looks like it's filled with water if you're drowning the monkeys, but probably not really. you got a chain like you're rescuing them. It's from Dongguan, China. Never even heard of that place before, but it's from Commerce, California, made in Dongguan. All right, distributed by. Let's go ahead and bust this puppy open. Ah! Look at that. No cardboard. They're already a win. What is this, taped in here? What the? Are you serious? Alright, you guys probably can't even see that. But if... It's like a magnifying glass with, like, uh, holes in it. This must be, like, a doubling jar from one of their other toys that they probably make. Like, a crappy set of toys for a bug catcher. But you know what? That is pretty awesome. If you ask me, because if I ever get bored of... These pieces of crap are taped in here. If I ever get bored of playing with these monkeys... If I could ever get these monkeys out, because for some reason they packaged them like it's like someone's trying to steal freaking monkeys. Well, actually, you know what? Oh, they're really cheap. They've been. I might actually have to steal them in order to complete the set. Because what am I supposed to do with six monkeys? I can't even play with myself with. <laughs> I can't even play the game by myself with six monkeys. Let's get that on out of here. Let's go ahead and close that. Look, it's not even a full jar of monkeys. Can I even play this game? I haven't played this since I was young. Uh, link them up here. Oh, crap. Oh, look at that. Ball in. You guys can't even, look, I got doubles, doubles. See if I can, oh, can't pick that up. That's cheating. See if I can pick up this last guy right here. Oh, skizzle. Oh, crap. Anyways, that just adds to the crappiness. But this, this jar right here, honestly, I wonder if I can go back to the store and probably find a bug catcher and take a picture and show you guys that this jar has to be for, let's see. Monkey, magnified monkey, just so you guys can see that it is magnification. Monkey, unmagnified. It's a crappy magnification, but a magnification nonetheless. <laughs> These little guys got goofy faces on them. Are they different? If you guys can see that. Now, my camera doesn't have autofocus, sorry guys. We got like a girl monkey, a guy monkey holding a banana, and a girl, imagine that, a guy monkey holding a banana. If the, yeah, another guy monkey. The guy holding a banana, the guy holding an apple, that one. What is this? This one is a girl with like a clutch or a purse or something like that. I'm going to put these guys back inside. Um, honestly, I'm going to give this one just a crap rating, which is the highest rating we can give a toy. Just because of the nostalgia and the dual purpose of not only when I'm tired of playing with these crappy pieces of plastic. I can go ahead and go outside and collect some bugs like ants and then go ahead and burn them with the magnifying glass that probably won't burn anything. It also has air holes punched into I probably already said that, but it has the air holes and everything set up. So, when I get done with this, I'm playing by myself over here, playing some mer monkeys in a cup, monkey game, whatever you want to call it, that they call it, and close it up. I'm going to set that on my dash, not on my dash, on my desk, whenever I get bored placing. I might actually have to go pick a few more of these up, but you know what? I'll probably just end up getting a barrel of monkeys. So we get this guy a crap just because of its dual purpose and the nostalgia of playing monkey game. Once again, this has been Anthony with Funless Toys. I really hope you guys enjoy this review. If you can see, I'm trying to be a little bit more, a uh, little bit more outgoing, outlandish, a little bit more loose, and not be myself. My girlfriend, unfortunately, was at work, wasn't able to be in the review with me today, or else we probably could have played some monkeys together. But monkey see, monkey do it. It is what it is. And uh, this is episode, I mean, day six of day seven. And I hope you guys will be back tomorrow for that special episode that I think I'm going to possibly, quite maybe, who knows, do. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment. As well as if you loved the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm almost close to 100 subscribers, guys. That'd be awesome if I could reach 100 within a week's time. It'd be super, super awesome. It'd be much greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.